Hello students, today we are doing fractions, question 2 from exercise 7a where we are learning about the different types of fractions. So, the types of fractions, first one we have the proper fraction. What are proper fractions? A fraction whose numerator is less than its denominator. Now, let's take some examples and see. Now, if I have a fraction with numerator 3 and denominator 7, this is a proper fraction because the numerator 3 is less than its denominator 7. Let's take another example. Now, suppose I say 21 by 27. So here also you can see that the numerator 21 is less than its denominator 27. So if you have a fraction whose numerator is less than its denominator, what do you call it? You call it a proper fraction. Then we have the improper fraction. What are improper fractions? A fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to its denominator. Now, suppose I take a fraction 8 by 5. Can you see that the numerator 8 is greater than the denominator 5? So, such a fraction where the numerator is greater, it's called an improper fraction. Let's take another example. Now, suppose I take 12 by 7. Here also the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, this is an improper fraction. Now, here there's another part that says greater than or equal to. So, if I take a fraction 9 by 9, can you see that the numerator and the denominator are equal? Such a fraction is also called an improper fraction. So, what is an improper fraction? A fraction whose numerator is greater than like this or equal to like this is denominator. Such a fraction is called an improper fraction. Then we have the mixed fraction. What is a mixed fraction? It is a fraction that consists of two parts, a natural number and a proper fraction. So what are the two parts in a mixed number? Now you have a natural number like this and a proper fraction, a fraction by the side. What is a proper fraction? Where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So here, can you see that there are two parts to this fraction? There is a natural number and there is a proper fraction. So when you have both together, such a fraction is called a mixed fraction. Let's take another example. Now I can say 5, 7 by 12. Now here also can you see I have a natural number and I have a fraction which is a proper fraction. So it should be a proper fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Such a fraction is called a mixed fraction. Then we have like fractions. What are like fractions? Two or more fractions with the same denominators but different numerators. So when we are talking about like fractions, we are talking of two or more fractions. Did you see when we spoke about mixed fraction or a proper fraction or improper fraction, we spoke about one fraction. Here when we are talking about like fractions, we have to consider two or more fractions. And what is the condition? They must have the same denominator but different numerators. Let's take some example. Now I have 3 by 8, 5 by 8, 7 by 8, 1 by 8. What do you notice in all this? Can you see they all have the denominator 8? Denominators are the same. So when denominators are the same, such fractions are called like fractions. So this whole set of fractions is called like fractions. Then we have the unlike fractions. What are unlike fractions? Two or more fractions with different denominators. So here also we need to have at least two fractions. Now suppose I have 2 by 9, 7 by 8, 5 by 6. Can you see I have three fractions here and all denominators are different. So such fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. So you need to have at least two or more than two fractions with different denominators to consider them as unlike fractions. Then we have equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions? If two or more fractions have the same value, 
then they are called equivalent fractions or equal fractions. Now let's take some examples. Now let's let me take a fraction 2 by 3. Now if I multiply this fraction, the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2, what will I get? Now 2 into 2 is 4 and 3 into 2 is 6. I've got 4 by 6, isn't it? So the first fraction I had was 2 by 3. The second fraction that I got is 4 by 6. Now if I take the same fraction 2 by 3 and this time I multiply it by 3. The first time I multiplied by 2. This time let me multiply it by 3 and see what I get. What do I get? 3 2's are 6 and 3 3's are 9. I get 6 by 9. So first I got 2 by 3. Then I got 4 by 6. Now I've got 6 by 9. Now 6 by 9. Now these three fractions have the same value. I have multiplied this original one by 2 and got this. If I divide by this one by 2, I'll get back 2 by 3. Now I took 2 by 3, I multiplied it by 3 and I got 6 by 9. If I take 6 by 9 and divide it by 3, again I'll get back 2 by 3. So these three fractions are called equivalent fractions or they're called equal fractions. Now, how do I know if two fractions are equivalent? I can check them. Let me take 2 by 3 and 4 by 6. Now, if I take 2 by 3 and 4 by 6, to find out if they are equivalent, I can cross multiply. That is, I multiply this numerator and this denominator. Two sixes up, I get 12. Now, I multiply these two, 3 and 4. 3 fours are 12. So, can you see the answers are the same? 12 and 12. It means they are equal fractions or equivalent fractions. Now based on this, shall we do question 2 of exercise 7a? So we are doing only question 2 because this is about the types of fractions that we just learned. Question 2, fill in the blanks. First one, 5 by 8. Can you look at the fraction 5 by 8? Is a dash fraction. So look at this fraction carefully. You can see that the numerator 5 is smaller than the denominator 8. That means this is a proper fraction. 5 by 8 is a proper fraction. Question 2. This time we have 8 by 5 where the numerator is greater than the denominator. Such a fraction is called an improper fraction. Question 3. Here we have 15 by 15. So both are equal, numerator and denominator are equal. Such a fraction is called an improper fraction. So what is an improper fraction? A fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator or the numerator is equal to the denominator. Question 4. The value of 23 by 23. So when the numerator and the denominator are the same, it is equal to 1. Okay, so remember that when the numerator and denominator are the same, it's equal to 1. Now, 23 by 23 is also division, isn't it? So, if you divide 23 by 23, what do you get? You get 1. Then, question 5. The value of 5 by 5, when the numerator and the denominator are the same, the answer is 1. Question 6. 3 3 by 10. So can you see there is a natural number and there is a proper fraction. So such a fraction which has two parts, natural number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction. Question 7. Here we have two fractions, 2 by 15 and 7 by 15. The denominators are the same. So they are like fractions. You can also check to see if they are equal fractions or equivalent fractions. How do we check? We have to multiply the numerator and the denominator here and this numerator and denominator. Cross multiply. Now suppose I take that here. Suppose I have 2 by 15 and 7 by 15. Now I can cross multiply. I can multiply 2 and 15. Okay, 2 into 15 is 30 and I can multiply 15 into 7 which is 105. And as you can see, they are not equal to each other. So you cannot call them equivalent fractions. So 2 by 15 and 7 by 15 are simply 
like fractions. So when you have two fractions like this, you have to check for many things. Are they like or unlike or are they equal and equivalent? Next one, 23 by 12 and 23 by 15 are, now since the denominators are different, you can call them unlike fractions, but you can also check to see the equivalent fractions. So that will be 23 into 15 and 23 into 12. You can easily make out that the answers are going to be different, isn't it? Because one is you're multiplying 23 by 12 and then you're multiplying 23 by 15. The answers will definitely be different. So these are not equivalent fractions, but since the denominators are different, they are unlike fractions. So fractions where the denominators are different are called unlike fractions. Question 9. Here we have 6 by 15 and 28 by 17. So first thing you can say is maybe they are unlike fractions, isn't it? Because denominators are different. Now let's check and see the equivalent fractions. How do we do that? We write the first fraction, 6 by 15, and then we have 28 by 70, and we cross multiply, 6 into 70. So let's do that and see. So that is 70 into 6. 6 zeros are 0, 6 sevens are 42. So we've got 420. Then we cross multiply these two, 28 into 15. Let's try that. 5 eights are 40, can be 4. 5 twos are 10. Plus 4, 14, 0, 1 8s are 8, 1 twos are 2. Plus, let's add this up, 0, 4 plus 8 is 12, carry 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here, can you see that the answer here when you cross multiply 6 and 70 is 420. And when we cross multiply 15 and 28 is also 420. That means these two fractions are equal fractions. They're equal fractions or equivalent fractions. Question 10. So here again, you can see that the denominators are different. That means they are not like fractions. Here they're saying they are not. So they are not like fractions. Question 11. 3, 2 by 13 is equal to 3 into 13 plus 2. So what are we doing here? We're converting a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So first thing you do is 3 into 13. 3 into 13 is 39. 39 plus 2 is 41. And our denominator is 13. So our fraction is 41 by 13. Question 12, we follow the same pattern that's given in question 11. So 4, 3 by 5 equals 5 into 4. Okay, so that's our first step. 5 into 4 plus 3 and the denominator is 5. So 5 fours are 20. 20 plus 3 is 23 and the denominator is 5. 23 by 5. So the final answer here is 23 by 5. That's all for now children. Thank you.